So Gary, so this is the spot, this is where it's all, all made here. So how, how do you go about the whole process? Well, what we do, Dean, is we start with a flat steel form. There are custom side rails and custom bulkheads and blockouts to create the size and the shape of the piece. The next step that we take is we'll pre-stress the bed, which means we take cables and we'll run them from one end of the bed to the other and we'll put them in tension. And that's what gives concrete its strength. Uh, the concrete is poured around these cables that are in tension. The concrete is allowed to cure and harden and bond to that strand. And after they're cured out, we'll cut the cables and the precast piece will go into compression. And that's what gives it its strength. So those bands are kind of like just compressing the concrete. It's kind of like a rubber band. If you take a rubber band and just kind of hold it sort of flaccid, it's very loose in the center. But if you take that and you stretch it out, you end up with something that's just a lot more sturdy in the middle. So that's basically what you're doing with the steel cable. That's right. So pre-stressing this concrete, what, what's the longest section you guys make here? We've done some roof sections that are 110 foot long. Um, we've done some pieces that are as heavy as 90,000 pounds in this facility. So for some of these panels, I mean, you must go through a lot of concrete. We do. We have three mixers that are six yard mixers and they'll do a six yard, each of them will do a six yard batch in about 90 seconds. So we can crank it out pretty quickly when we need to. And then to get this concrete around to the different areas, because this is a big plant, rather than like shooting it through a hose, you guys actually dump it into a little truck and then move it from one area to the other. Yeah, we have some buggies that, uh, that'll park underneath the mixers. The concrete will dump into the mixers, into the buggies, and then the buggies will transport it to the form. So pouring concrete into a bed like this and forming up the panels one way, now you also extrude concrete. Yeah, that's right. There's a, that's a little bit different process. That's a zero slump concrete. It's a real dry mix and it's extruded out to make the hollow core plank. And again, this is the Play-Doh factory uh, technique where you're just basically pooping out concrete in one constant form, foot after foot after foot. Yep, it lays out one bed at 600 foot long. But again, this also is pre-stressed though. That has cables in with tension so that you're building that same sort of tension into the final product. Okay, the same way we do in this facility is we'll take a 600 foot long bed and we'll tension it full length with cables. There's bulkheads at each end, so they'll put a buckle on one end and they'll take a, they'll stretch it out to about 70% of its ultimate strength and couple it on the other end. And then the hollow core machine will come along and the gantry system will move it right along the 600 foot bed. So the actual machine that extrudes it moves the length of the 600 foot bed. And again, you guys have put these into basically every major sports facility in the Twin City area. Here. Yep, everything from our latest one, the Minnesota Twin Stadium, going back to the Metrodome. And th those were a lot of panels. They were. Well, I'll tell you, if it's good enough for the Twin Stadium, I think it's going to work for our garage. Good. I, I have no, no problems with that.